toll road here at Providence State Park in the great state of Georgia, and I've got a special guest with me. Not my hand. Hey, it's how's a road trip rich. Hey, you ready for doing a little hiking? Yeah, I think so. We've done a lot of uh, city stuff here lately. Let's get out in the let's get out in the country and enjoy this. Buckle up, kids. You better take a ride. On the toll Warning, this trail is not recommended for persons with heart problems or in poor physical condition. Ah, here's where the trail begins. So far, pretty easy. So, Riches, we're walking down this eh, fairly steep decline here. Does that make you a little worried about I'm climbing back up? Climbing back up, yeah. This is the easy part. Yeah, it's gonna be rough coming back up. Yeah. I'm into our first. I guess I would call this red rock, more like red dirt, huh? Hey, look at that, though. And there we go. Oh, guy okay, cat going after my boots. Do you know it's not safe to be under someone's shoes? How do you live that? Quick little fella. These signs are kind of the opposite of what what we are. Good judgment. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Rich, you brought boots, but you didn't wear them. Right. Yeah, you're a fool. It'll be here in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That's not too bad, actually, though. All right, as we're walking through here, Rich, so what I was able to find about this, this is not a natural formation. This is actually formed by poor farming. They uh, were building their crops or whatever along, along some hills and didn't rotate their crop, just left it barren when they were done. And, of course, what happens then? You see down here this water water erosion probably a little wind erosion and over the years it just got deeper and wider and it turned into what you have here today all kidding aside it's not well it hadn't really rained much the last few days there's a little bit of water how, how are your uh regular gym shoes doing on this so far good are you wishing you had boots uh, not yet Feet aren't really wet or anything. It's just what, not even like a quarter inch of water or something. Mm -hmm. But if it rained recently, definitely bring your boots. First look at one of the canyon walls. That's kind of up there, isn't it? Beauty is when you get down to the bottom and onto the river beds, it's real flat. It's a pretty easy hike as long as there isn't too much rain or mud. Kind of moved it off of the red rock more into the white rock here. What's that? Dead end. Yeah, a little dead end. I'm gonna see what's down here at the end. Hopefully it's not literally a dead end. Boy, the rock really gets red up the top there. Cool. This one's got kind of a little yellow formation to it. You can see the 
See up top of the guardrail there. So the top of the loop will be up there at some point. So you see why they call this Georgia's Little Grand Canyon now, Rich? Yeah, I sure do. Yep. Somebody well, don't endorse that stupidity. So you ready to do the uh, real Grand Canyon with me now, Rich? Yeah. See how you are on the way out of here? Well, I'll ride a donkey down. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, four years ago, I tried to get you to go to uh, Zion and north rim of the grand canyon and bryce with me bryce national park you backed out what was your excuse then it was only three months after our last three months no it was a trip it was in october it was about six months six months okay and these riverbed parts are pretty flat as you could probably imagine pretty easy walk although what did we hear someone saying that down one of the mother paths Someone had spotted a bear not not too long ago. Yeah, that's what he said. I didn't know. I didn't hear when when he was supposedly spotted. I don't have they spotted it at any time. That means they are in the area. Area. We should give credit to how we found out about this place. Uh, the two ladies at the. Two young ladies at the Georgia Welcome Center in Columbus, Georgia, which is, that's uh, about 30 miles north of here. We stopped in just, I think Rich had to go pee pee. Uh, yep, I did. <laughs> I think you did too. Well, yeah, we all got to go. But they, they recommended this spot. I was not really familiar with it. Thought we'd check it out, and I'm kind of glad we did run into another fork in the road we can either go to canyon six through nine that away so we can go up the white trail there on our loop which we have to do a little bit more water in this one but look at down here uh, rich stops for a quick breather and uh, gets something to drink it kind of makes me think of our good friend who's uh See that beaten path there? He's off it, off the beaten path, Brandon. How do you think Brandon would like this part? Um, I don't think he'd like it. Oh, he would like it. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> he had a hard time. He would like it time. after. <laughs> yeah, I think his canyon hiking days are behind. Uh, you yeah. said it, not me though. You said it, Rich. I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> Road trip, Rich has found an OPB. You gonna take out that OPB, old people bench? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Wherever they're gonna do graffiti, at least it's just on a bench instead of the natural stuff. Well, the last break we took was about a half mile down the hill, wasn't it? Oh, at least. Been climbing. Yeah, at you least see a half mile. Actually, you're not even out of breath there. Uh, a little bit. Did you give up smoking? Nope. Cut down to two packs a day? <laughs> Um, I'm around the path, that's it. <laughs> hey, actually, this looks like we got a little bit of a downgrade going here. Well, we might be near the uh, top of our height. Kind of hard to tell with all the trees. Rich. I found them, Rich. Rich, Wait, moron, left his car that? keys. Look, here's mine. You don't even drive that. What, is, what kind of vehicle? You even have a driver's license? Yeah. Yeah, right. Do you? Hell yeah, yeah. Now you do. <laughs> I had one since I was 15 years old. Maybe 14. Extra fine, too. Some old beaters. Now, I hear they were thinking about taking these out, but they're afraid if they yanked them out of here, it'd cause even more of an erosion problem. Oh, here we go. The old homestead was located in this area before the establishment of Providence State Park. These automobiles were abandoned near the homestead have since become a unique ecosystem for numerous birds, mammals, road trip riches, who use them for nesting and cover. Due to their location and to the encroachment of nature, the removal of the vehicles would cause too much damage to the environment and ecosystem in the area. So let's check them out. You recognize what model this is? Looks like an old Chevy. Station wagon. Yeah, station wagon. Looks like it took a hit here too, didn't it? 
looks like a... Yeah, let's see what the... Let's see what we got here on the other side. Looks like we only have the uh, front end of this one there. Let's see if we can find a ornament on there. Yeah, I don't know enough about cars to tell you for sure. Thinking it's a Chevy. Pick it. Pick that back. It looks like more like a Ford. Do you think this is salvageable? Either one of these. A little TLC. Yeah. Go ahead and sit behind the wheel. Take it for a spin. Test drive. Actually, the Fords, the Fords are pretty solid. Yeah, they're actually not too bad. Everything else, uh, not so much. Oh, yeah. yeah, I found a, another beater here in the woods. Oh, is that upside down? or? Yeah, that one's upside down. Rattlesnakes living in it. This is an old Ford. That's seen better days. Well, Rich, we have part nature trail, part antique auto show. Yeah, it looks like a couple more up ahead. Is there really? Yeah, there are a couple more up there. Yeah. Here, what's uh? You gonna steal the catalytic converter off of them? No. I didn't bring my equipment. Did you? No, I'm pretty sure anything uh, worth a penny on these has already been taken. I wonder how they got upside down is my question there. Maybe they flipped them over and took the tires off of them. Yeah. It was probably an old salad yard, maybe. Or, you know, Here's a... This one looks a little more in, intact than some of the other ones we've seen. And that's saying a lot. That? Oh, I think that could be a... Let me ask you something. Do trees swim? Swim? Yeah. I don't know why. The trees don't swim. Why in the... the <laughs> okay. You learn something new every day, I guess. Don't expect a tree to save your life if you're drowning. They float, don't swim. Don't do that. Why are they out there? That is dumb. A real good outlet, but unfortunately you were victim to the foliage. It's just not worth it. Don't do it. What? Jump. Pee over, pee over the side? Don't do that if you want. You'll probably erode stuff you drink you probably erode the whole place down to nothing <laughs> well we made it to the top we're walking on the uh, canyon loop road honestly wasn't that tough i mean honestly would you stop twice just get a glass, quick drink of water and that was yeah. about it so uh, anybody wants to do this i little kids could do this well we came up the easy side the other side easy we side down, would have been tougher climbing no but we went the other way yeah yeah, maybe a little. You might be right. Maybe for you. Pretty good outlet. Outlook here, though. Looks like there's... Over there, we're going to have a good view along that fence line. That's probably the best view right over there. That's not that good. Check out this drop off right here. This is why they have railings. So if you look down here where these people are, that's where we were. And we walked up, my bearing straight, walked up that riverbed.
That's going to do it for the toll road here at Providence State Park in the great state of Georgia. And um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows where the toll road will lead to next? <laughs>